Now that we're in the middle of winter, I thought it'd be a great time to talk about being prepared for a winter situation out of your vehicle in case you get stranded. And while here in South Carolina, it's not as big a deal, especially up in the northern states, getting uh, you know a number of feet of snow at one time and with fronts moving in really quickly, it would really be important to have some items because people that are stranded in cars for a number of days, that happens on a regular basis. And so having the gear that you need and it really doesn't take a whole lot to be prepared and possibly to save you and your family's life. Okay, here are the items laid out. And you know, this is just a, uh, a kind of a checklist of things to have uh, in your vehicle in case you are stranded uh, in a winter situation. And so I'm just gonna go through each of these. You can put these in a bag and I think that's really important to kind of keep everything together so you're not pulling stuff in and out. But you can also put each of these items in different places of, of your console, of your car, or places that you uh, know where you can get to them. Now I personally think that first and foremost, having a good tarp that also doubles as a emergency space blanket. Uh, this will keep you dry, uh, it'll give you some shelter, it'll cover you, and if you're out changing a tire or you're trying to get uh, your car from being stuck, this can really be good to use for a lot of situations. If you're stuck overnight in your vehicle, you can wrap up in this, and you know, I have had this for probably 20 years, so I really can't tell you where to get this one in particular. But I did do a review on this tarp that is also an emergency space blanket. Got this at Gray Eagle Trader, and I'll have the link below. Uh, but this is a really nice large tarp that can actually double as a shelter. And plus with the emergency space blanket, uh, you know, hypothermia is one thing you've really got to be careful of in winter weather. And so this is really an, an exceptional tool to have. Plus, if you get wet, uh, that can also pull all the body heat out of your body, so uh, being able to insulate is really good. Also, one of the SOL emergency uh, space bivvies, and that's a really uh, great little item. In fact, I did a review on it, and I'm going to have links to some of the videos that I've done previously uh, when I mention these items, so you can follow the video. You know, having a good scraper is important, not just while you're leaving your home in the mornings. But you can get stuck in a situation where your windshield wipers get frozen and you really are getting ice over your windshield. And so this will really help to scrape it off and to keep it clean. Now, of course, I'm assuming also that you're well dressed with a, a nice jacket, uh, possibly a good warm hat and, you know, the different things, good socks for your shoes. But a lot of times if you're just running out or if you're maybe you're out of town and the storm front comes in and so you need to head back home and we've been in that situation before facing a lot of snow and you know not necessarily having really warm warm clothes uh, something to keep your head covered now one thing I want to talk about head covering uh, there's been a myth for a number of years that you lose 40 to 50 percent of your body heat out of your head which was taken from an old military study uh, but recently they've come out and debunked that and said you know it's whatever area is exposed on your body you lose heat and so typically, if everything else is covered and your head is not, you're really only losing 10% of your body heat. But guys, 10% is still important to retain. So having some way to really keep your head warm and having this aside is really good. Also, I like something around my face, uh, especially with cold weather. And this is a little Zanny headgear, little uh, cover that'll fit over your face. It'll fit around your neck. It'll go over your head. It's fleece, and it's really warm and having something to just to cover up your face, especially with chill factors when they get really low and the wind's blowing. And then having a good pair of replaceable socks. You know, you have some socks on, they may be good and warm in wool, uh, but your feet may get wet and you really can't get them dry. Of course, having wool socks is really important. Uh, these Keens, excellent. These are not cheap, but they're well worth having, uh, especially in cold weather. And this will wick the moisture off your feet and keep your feet really warm. Also an extra pair of gloves, and these are just, you know, your military Nomax gloves. Uh, they're not very warm, but they are great to have. Uh, of course, you can replace those with heavier gloves. Really, this is just an example, something that, uh, you know, there's a lot of dexterity with a lot of the new gloves and that I have, but I just happen to have this in one of my kits. Also one thing is a good pair of sunglasses, and you know, with snow and the blindness that it can cause, just having a good pair of glasses can be important, especially if you're outside of your vehicle. Hand warmers really great item to go with your gloves also a good fire kit of course I just reviewed this fire kit but this is one that I keep in my truck specifically and it's one of the little pods and I keep it as waterproof it just seals up and it keeps everything contained but having a good fire kit is really necessary uh, if you're stranded and you need to get warm 
course you don't really want to abandon your vehicle and you don't really want to start a fire in your car but you can have a little tea light candle to use and that works very well and with that of course the Vaseline and cotton balls just an excellent fire tender and having a good flashlight and this is a really high quality jet beam uh, this is the PC20 excellent light and I have a, extra batteries just in case for signaling having one of the glow sticks especially if you're trying to attract attention or you want to uh, let somebody know that your vehicle is in front of them this is a great item to have but then also I think a really important item is a good flare gun I've had this gun for a number of years and you have your 12 gauge flares this is really great to keep on hand especially if you're stuck where people can't see you, you maybe have slidden off the road down a ravine you can use this to signal rescue now one important tool I think to have is one a shovel of some sort and I think these military shovels they pack really easily and uh, you can really stow these away and yet they are very effective you can even use them as an axe to cut with if you need to but a great shovel compact and really pretty reasonable of course all this fits in a very small pack this is a little Maxpedition active shooters bag but any small pack will do uh, this is not something that you're necessarily going to be walking with and using a lot it just can stay in your vehicle and so keeping it all together in one little area I think is really important and you know when spring comes along you can pull this out or you can exchange it for other items now this doesn't necessarily change your emergency car kit the video that I did a few months ago put it in a military tin everything is sealed up in here we've had this for about three years and just keeping it in my wife's car I have one in my car it just really makes it easy if you're going on trips you just know that everything is right here together and I'll have the video annotated right here and have a link down below uh, but this is really just your winterized version uh, of this emergency car kit and this is a little more complete with first aid and some other things but I think with the two together you'll really be way ahead now guys this is a simple setup it's just straight up what it is it's not a whole lot and that's the way I like to kind of keep this uh, a lot of you guys who are really way up north who really face this on a more regular basis may have a lot to add to this or you may say you really don't need some of these items so please in the comments make sure you leave some comments below because a lot of the guys that watch these videos read those comments and it'll really help them and it could save a life a little preparation can add comfort but it can also save your life also if you have any questions go to the Such uh, Fun Gun Reviews Facebook page that's the best way really to get in touch with me you can send me a private message or you can leave a message directly on the channel page itself and of course I'll have the link here and down in the description below be strong be of good courage God bless America long live the Republic but another alternative is to have one of the Swedish female volleyball players with a big fur coat uh, I don't think my wife would allow that <laughs>